So in example A, what we have here is to illustrate is you have a jar. And inside this jar are different colored marbles. But there's 20 of them. Okay? I don't have the time for all of them, but you understand my illustration. Mm -hmm. Now your hand's going to go in here and it's going to yank one of them. So we want to know what are the chances? You know, what's the chance that you'll yank a, a white marble out? So here I go. I'm going to show this mathematically to you. P stands for probability, a capital P. And in the parentheses next to them, I'm going to encapsulate what outcome I'm, I'm looking for. I'm looking for how many, what's the probability we're going to pull out a white marble. To use a teaching point from the previous movie, I need to know two things. I need to know how many marbles there are that I'm looking for and how many total marbles there are. There are eight marbles that I want. They are the white kind. And then I have 20 total marbles to choose from. So if I can label these, the top number is my desired outcome. This is what I'm actually wanting. I want to pull a white marble in this case. So that number is on top of my fraction. And underneath is how many possible outcomes there are, how many total outcomes there are. So every time I go into this jar, there are 20 things that could happen, because there's 20 marbles. Questions on how and what 8 and 20 means? Rather simple, no? OK. Last time I checked, 8 and 20 are both even numbers. And even fractions can be simplified. So 8 twentieths, I'm going to rewrite it as a simplest fraction, which would be, let's see, what, I, what can I divide 8 and 20 by? 2 4. I can four, divide by 4. Then I end up with 2 on top and 5 on the bottom. Instead of saying 8 out of 20 times you'll get a white marble, Mr. Kim, you could also simplify and say 2 out of 5 times you should end up with a white marble. 2 out of 5. Devon likes talking in percentages, true? So let's take that fraction, 2 fifths, and change it to a percent then. This is now accessing what we did in our warm-up. Who recalls how to change a fraction to a decimal? Jocelyn? Um, five, two, divided by five. Sweet. Two divided by five turns out to be a division problem. I'm going to add a decimal point <coughs> and then add my decimal point in my quotient. Five times four is 20. But the answer is not 4. The answer is point 4. So 4 tenths. And then from this fraction, now our decimal, I can change it to a percent. Devon, how do I do that? Um, write it out. <laughs> okay. but yeah, but by what process? How do I change this decimal to a percent? Oh, you add um, 100. I don't add 100. I times it by 100. So it's equal to 40%. If you don't trust me, here you go. Here's 100 times 0.4. Count your decimal places. There's one of them. So you move your decimal point one time left. OK? So 40% chance will be uh, a white marble. 40% chance. Questions on? how we got all three answers. How do we get this fraction? Everyone clear? And then we use division to get the decimal. And then we got the percentage by multiplying by 100. This is a review from chapter 7 earlier in the year.